This is Minister Paul in Northern California. It's Tuesday, April 21st, 2015, and it's 11.08 uh, a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm out here in Northern California. I've spoken with my dad two days now about this uh, Jade Helm 15 and a possible Walmart involvement. And just to give you some quick background, uh, my dad's 79 years old. He he did classified and what they call black work, um, pretty much through the 60s, 70s, and, and the end of the 80s, up into the point where the space shuttle Challenger exploded. He worked for NASA, the black clearance. He worked for the NSA on Fort Meade. He worked for what you're looking at now. The, it's called the ASA. Well, it was called the ASA, the Army Security Agency. He did some work with the FBI. And his non-disclosure, he told me, it was for 20 years, which is now expired. There's some things that he was willing to share with me and then other things that he just wouldn't touch. Like when it comes to, you know, what satellites are in the sky, the, you know, that we launched, he won't discuss that at all. Um, when it comes to anything like NSA related to what he did uh, at Fort Meade, um, he won't discuss. But uh, there are some things that he told me, that, uh, and I want to share this with you. And he said, follow the money. And then he gave me some agency names, and so for two days now I've been doing some research. Um, never heard of this agency. It's called the National Army Security Agency, or the NAS. So I wanted to show you that. We're going to go through some links. I'm going to put a link to every single thing here. And what I'm hoping people will come together and do is to research all of this information. Jade Helm 15 is coming, whether we like it or not. And they're not going to tell us anything. It's up to us to do the research on what we are about to step into and I'm asking everybody do the research don't don't let don't be intimidated you know we have a right to know we have a right to know and we have a duty to proclaim something and so that's what I'm doing today so here you'll see some symbols for what they used to call the ASA my fa father also worked for the what's called the DIA for a while that's the defense intelligence agency and my father said that with something this big and this massive with this uh, operation jade helm 15 and whether a uh, walmart would be involved or not he said it would take a lot more resources uh than than just uh just the military in order to pull this off for six months it's 11 11. He said the CIA would have to be involved. Now, he knows what he's talking about. He said the CIA would have to be involved. He said the ASA would have to be involved. And uh, he said the NSA would have to be involved simply because of their budget. So here's, here's some symbols from the ASA. So you can kind of get a look. My father was in this and he was discharged. Um, I, I think he was in 10 years. He was uh, discharged from a fort that I'm going to show you about in a minute. He was stationed at Fort Meade, Maryland for a time. So this is, and he mentioned Ospreys being involved. See this Osprey? This is, uh, this is the, uh, this is what they call now, they call it the Defense Security Cooperation Agency. And he mentioned Ospreys being involved in this mission. And it's funny because these Ospreys right here, I've been talking about them for three years now. They fly above our house. I live about 15 miles from Beale Air Force Base in Northern California. They are up there all night, every night. And he told me that these things would be involved. So just keep that in mind. So this agency has a huge budget. And I want to show you what I found on this agency that's alarming because I told him that Mexico was going to be involved and I asked him 
this is what they do. They do major arm sales. That's one of the things they do. <clears throat> so I looked at, this was yesterday, I looked at some of the major arm sales they've conducted in this month and the month prior. <clears throat> uh, when it, the one that he keyed on was these Viper attack helicopters with Hellfire missiles being sent to Pakistan on April 6, 2015. <clears throat> and when I mentioned that, he mentioned the Iran warships heading towards the U.S. Navy warships and that, you know, just one mistake and it could be bedlam. So I found yesterday this uh, major arms sales to who of all play people, Mexico and their Black Hawk helicopters. And, it, and if you go in deeper and, and read on this, um, let me get a link. If you go in deeper and read on this and what's all involved, it, it, it involves uh, forward looking infrared or uh, FLIR they call it. And uh, two, they, people who will actually relocate and embed in Mexico to maintain the training infrared uh, they're, they're going to have these uh, six uh, mounted machine guns. Uh, I'm just going to put a link all to this so we can go through this. And I asked him about this company right here, the contractors of Sikorsky Aircraft Company in Stratford, Connecticut, and GE in Lynn, Massachusetts. And he said these were the. He said this company right here was the same company involved in all the problems they had with NASA Space Shuttle Challenger 51L. And this just keyed off right to him. So I'm going to put a link to this also. What I'm asking is everybody to do your own research. I'm going to put out information that, that's been shown to me that we, we, we are sending Mexico or, or have already sent uh, Black Hawk helicopters to Mexico. And I straight up asked my father based on all his Army intelligence experience uh, did that seem normal? And he said, no, that would be abnormal. So then what I found out, just follow the bouncing ball on this, that the ASA, the Army Security Agency, has changed and, and kind of merged into INSCOM. Everybody see this? Army mill. So, so let's take a little forward. And remember, I'm going to put links to all this stuff. So this is the U.S. Army Intelligence and Security Command. And uh, I came over here and did a search on Jade Helm, of course. And you will f find that they are, in fact, involved. I didn't look real deep in this. Um, because I'm going to post the, uh, the links. All of these links for everybody to do research on this. Let's continue. Here's the press release, uh, Exercise Ready's SOF for Threats Abroad. This is Jade Helm, and this is the symbol that they're using on it here. Uh, and it mentions members of U.S. Army Special Operations Command, remember that, the, the ASOO, will train with other U.S. Army Forces units July 15th through September 15th in a multi-state exercise called Jade Helm. I will put a link to this. And basically what you see is a bunch of departments with huge budgets getting together. So what we're doing is following the money trail here to see who's backing this. And so I, I did a search here on, um, what, what did I do the search on? RSOF, that's another agency, RSOF. And, and I found that this, uh, this, this image right here, and it just kind of stuck out to me. American Special Ops. This is a tactical team of military police that protect Army bases. And, you know, I couldn't differentiate these soldiers getting into this armored vehicle than I could the ones that are on our street today. And, and that should scare everybody. So let's continue. The, this, is, this is the new world order we're living in. It's not coming. It's here. So I looked into this uh, SOO, and I'm going to put a link to this. The United States Army Special Operations Command, other known as USASOC, is the command charged with overseeing the various special operation forces of the United States Army headquartered in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Now, the Lord has had me focused on Fort Bragg since 2012 on this YouTube channel. And again, 
one thing that I found in here, their role is to look, look at this, to fund. You see that? <laughs> to fund and administer. And, and you got to look at their, their budget. I'm, I, I'm just throwing, these are special forces with huge budgets. I'm just following the money here, okay? And I'm asking you to help me. Here, here's another thing that on it that I kind of will put a link to. This is where my dad was discharged uh, from the Army Intelligence, and I have an interview with him. I'm debating whether to upload it or not. Um, I'm going to talk to him more about that. Uh, this is where he was discharged from. So he's been at Fort Meade, Maryland. He's been at here, this Fort Belfort, and, uh, and they are tied in with the NSA. So now we have made a link from the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, right into the National Security Agency that my dad worked for. And so now we can add their budget money into this operation. I want you to see how deep does this operation Jade Helm really go. And I'll put a link to this also. So there was a merger and creation of INSACOM. This all started what used to be called the ASA, the Army Security Agency, which is went defunct in 1977, I believe, but they just gave it a new name. And so I began to look at this USA INSACOM, and I'm just going to put a link to this too. And, and their budget, I believe I read their budget was uh, $6 billion a year. See, so they're just adding up all this money, and here's the Fort Belvoir. This, where, this is where... Um, people who do army intelligence are released from at the end of their duty and um, I'm just showing all this you know you know just for others to see and uh, so here's the NSA and just so you know they will be involved so now we can add their budget money into this program where we began where we are now where we are going and so the purpose of this video is to show you that the CIA is involved, how, how real this is. The CIA is involved, the NSA is involved, the, the Army is involved. The, all of these agencies have all, you know, pretty much put their money together to run this operation. And, and I think it's simulating an attack from what? From the South. That's why they've declared San Diego hostile and Texas hostile and you know there's been mentioned that ISIS is literally on the borders of Mexico and then now just remember here you have a sale of us selling armed black hawk helicopters to Mexico I mean and look at the date last month so and, and let me just add uh, one more thing in all this it's just throwing out a bunch of information my dad did caution me on doing this type of exposure that the government has a program they have it's called shaming and that they will come after people they have paid people and a lot of people know this we call them trolls or shields but it's deeper than that they they have an uh, an operation they use to silence truthers that are on here that are posting credible real information and it's called shaming and so I ask that you uh, look up this shaming and don't be surprised if all of a sudden they're trying to discredit you uh, through this what they call shaming it's a targeted attack on your credibility so remember that word shaming and uh, I have nothing to be ashamed about. I'm just speaking forth the truth. So just remember this shaming. So I'm going to upload this and I'm going to follow up on this. And right now this is just a follow the money thing. Um, there are underground tunnels. You don't even have to leave Sacramento. And they're, they're, they're underneath uh, government buildings. And, uh, and everybody knows that. So... What people are saying on here, the people discrediting them are part of the tactic of 
discrediting the people that are sharing this information. This is a lot of information. I just throw it up real quick. Hope someone else will take any of this and just run with it because it's very important information how big and how deep this Operation Jade Helm goes.